With the changes to Formula One's fuel specification and refueling rules this season, Shell's fuel formulators have had their work cut out. But for their lubricant developers too, the pursuit of maximum power is relentless and every bit is rigorous. The oil Shell develops for Ferrari is the oil Shell develops for you. In the case of a lubricant, what you're trying to do is get the maximum performance out of the engine while still having sufficient protection to get to the end of the race. To have a reliable and uh, powerful unit, you need to develop uh, together with a partner lubricants and fuel that fits perfectly your engine. We work more or less non-stop on the lubricant to try to get a competitive advantage. For I recognise that lubricant isn't just a fluid that's thrown in afterwards. The fuel formulators might have had more latitude this season, but the parameters of the fuel they work with are fixed. The first rule of lubricant development, by contrast, is there are no rules. The lubricant side is slightly different because we don't actually have any rules, which is great news for Mark Wakeham. He's allowed to use all his experience, his know-how and his expertise. Mark was an engine guy in past life and understands the environment that we work in with very short timescales, lots of pressure, but we have to deliver basically. Minimising power losses in a Formula One engine working at up to 18,000 RPM is no easy task. If the stresses on staff are considerable, those on components are immense. One of the most uh, significant places is the big end bearing, which is the, the big end of the conrod, which connects the piston to the crankshaft. The pressure inside that oil film that keeps the two parts apart can go up to a value that's roughly equivalent to the bottom of the deepest place in the ocean. The penalties for using more than eight engines this season are tougher than ever, so the testing of the new lubricants designed to protect them is exhaustive. The art is to find the right balance of the properties each oil contains. We want it to foam to get to parts of the engine so it's hard to reach, but if there's too much foam, then that stops the lubrication and you don't get your film, so it stops it doing its job. The most promising lubricants undergo further assessment on the engine test beds at Ferrari's Maranello headquarters. But once approved, the highest performer is blended, batched and dispatched in state-of-the-art conditions at Thornton in the UK. But that's not where Shell's involvement ends. We have the Shell trackside team at every race. Ferrari value this very highly. We call it a blood test. Every time you go out in your car, we get a sample like this. When an engine or a component wears, the, the metals it wears off end up in the oil. If we see something that looks abnormal, we tell Ferrari immediately. They give us immediate feedback about what they think the problem is. If you like, it's like an early warning system for what's going on inside your engine. To be there is unique within that paddock, and that shows the trust, I think, between the two companies. As at each of the remaining 15 races this season, the Shell trackside team will be on hand at the forthcoming Chinese Grand Prix, where their input will be as welcome as ever. It's one of the new tracks, and it's built to a very high technical specification. So there's very demanding bends and a long straight where very high speeds are met. So it's really important that the Shell Helix Ultra engine oil that we're using in the car protects the engine whilst giving maximum horsepower to get maximum speed down that back straight. Shell analyzes the oils during the weekend and obviously it's nice to know uh, what they are finding and uh, what is the situation with, with our engine that we need to race on Sunday afternoon. <laughs>